Hello, friends and family of First CRC. It's Pastor Moses coming to you with this week midweek thoughts. It's finally the fall, um, and you can see the colors changing a little bit. And you know, I'm here in Sunnydale Park, and if you do walk around, you'll start to see leaves starting to change colors. But I'm here in Sunnydale for two reasons. It's kind of reminiscent for me because this is the place I came to after I preached my first sermon at uh, First CRC, the picnic, and I re and I remember this place being full with with folks from church as we were waiting burgers and hot dogs. But I also like this place a lot because it's a place where I spent a lot of time with my kids. And if you look around me, you'll see that there are a lot of kids here. Uh, last Sunday, the, the denomination. Um, observed the day as Abuse Awareness Sunday and we had a guest speaker. So we're trying to look into what it means um, when we talk about abuse and being aware of abuse that happens around us. And as you can see, I'm also wearing orange because this Friday is Orange Shirt Day in a lot of the schools here in Canada. We remember the abuse that some of our Indigenous children had gone through in school and we remember them. We remember them because they're not just people, but they are people that God had created in His very own image. Red or yellow, black and white, they are all precious in His sight. And we'll be looking at two passages from Mark that looks at that. We'll be looking at the, the woman who is bleeding in Mark. But we also look at that passage where children come, try to come to Jesus, and Jesus says, well, don't stop them. Don't stop them. And we celebrate that fact this Sunday because this Sunday is also World Communion Sunday when all the churches around the world, despite its theological differences, all churches of Jesus Christ will gather together at the table to celebrate the invitation and accept the invitation that the Lord gives to come to the table. So brothers and sisters in Christ here in Barry, will you come? Will you accept that invitation to come to the table to worship with all of God's people, however noisy, however old or young, however tall or short they may be, will you come and worship with us? I hope to see you this Sunday. God's blessings.